Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. This week I'm going to do something a little bit different because I'm going to be using gel polish to show you how to create these beautiful Turkish princess inspired nails that I've created for my holiday. I hope you enjoy this, I had so much fun creating these and I really do feel like a princess wearing them. As always, start with a manicure and clean and prep your nails. This week, however, I won't be applying a base coat as I'm using gel two, and this is a two stage system that doesn't require a base coat. I'm going to be using one of my favorite colors, which is shiny lavender. However, you can actually create this look with regular nail polish and top coat. Carefully apply your first coat to all five nails on one hand and take your time with this first layer because if you get this really neat, it can help speed you up on your second coat. If you make any mistakes and get any polish on the skin, just use a brush dipped in acetone or nail polish remover to remove. Once all the nails are neat, cure in your LED lamp. You're then ready to apply your second coat. Again, apply to all five nails on one hand and then cure in your LED lamp. Once your second coat is cured, it's time to apply our glitter and we're going to apply this straight onto that sticky layer on top of the polish. Now, if you want to achieve this look in nail polish, then you can still apply glitter like this over nail polish. At the end of the video, I'll link to one of my other videos showing you how to apply glitters over regular nail polish. In the meantime, I'm just going to use this brush to pat and brush glitter over that sticky layer on top of the gel color. It's very, very easy. Just pat it on and then brush off the excess. Then just thoroughly brush off any loose glitter ready for our next stage. Next to using Gel 2 Skyscraper Foundation Soak Off Gel, I'm going to apply a thin layer over all of the glitter nails. Now we're going to apply our crystals. I'm using Raindrop AB crystals and some mixed sizes. Links to all the products are in the description. And I'm also going to be using my crystal katana. We're going to begin by applying raindrops to our middle and ring finger. And when you pop them into the wet gel, just pat them down to bed them into place. Either side, we're then going to apply an SS3 crystal AB Shirosky crystal. and then an SS5 either side. And then we're going to finish the look off on these nails, applying another SS3 crystal to either side. Push down gently into the gel so they bed in. If you like, you can give these two nails a five second cure to hold the crystals in place. Then we're going to apply our gel to our little finger, index finger and thumb. On these nails, we're going to start with an SS7 crystal and then go to an SS5 either side and then an SS3. However, you can jiggle these around however you prefer. It may be that you'll like to do them with the small and then the larger crystal or move them around like this and go in size order. Finish off the detailing with an SS3 crystal at the base of the larger crystal. Repeat this on the remaining fingers and thumb and then cure. Now we're ready to top coat and I'm going to be using the Gel 2 No Cleanse Top Coat. And that's purely because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered to wipe off another sticky layer. We're going to apply this around the crystals and not over them. That's quite important because if you apply top coat over the crystals, it can dull their shine and sparkle. To 
to apply the top coat in the difficult areas, I'm going to use a silicone tool. Once you're finished, simply cure in your LED lamp and your look is complete. These nails are so chic and sparkly and I cannot wait to see what they look like in the sun on holiday. Let me know what you think and if you give them a go. Please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And in the description is links to all of my social media, including my Snapchat. Come and join me over there. Thank you very much for watching.